If you want to start making YouTube shorts but feel like it takes way too much time, you are not alone. The good news is though, there's a way to create high quality shorts in minutes without spending countless hours editing. So in this video, we'll show you a simple AI tool that helps you make shorts quickly, but also still looks really professional. You gotta just press record. So for today's video, we're gonna be making some shorts with our sponsor, Sub Magic. This is a great AI software to cut down the amount of time it takes to create shorts substantially. So you can check out Sub Magic down in the description below, and even also make your first few shorts completely for free. So today I'm gonna to show you three different kinds of shorts that you might be interested in creating for different types of creators. So once you're inside of Submagic's interface, you have two options here. You can start a new project by generating captions from a video, or you can use Magic Clips, which is a little bit different, but we're gonna start with Magic Clips because I think this is a really cool way of creating a YouTube short. So the first thing you'll wanna decide is do you wanna drag and drop something from your desktop, or do you wanna paste a YouTube link and work directly from a finished YouTube video. And I think this is such a cool feature, so we're gonna show you how to paste a video in here from YouTube. So this is one of our most recent uploads to the Think Media Podcast channel, and I'm gonna copy this YouTube link right here and paste it directly into our Magic Clips project for Submagic. And right here, you can choose your clip duration. So how long do you want these clips to be? I like, you know, 30 seconds to a minute or so in English as well, and we're just gonna click Get Viral Clips. So at this point, you'll wait maybe 10 or 15 minutes for Submagic to do its thing and create those magic clips. And once it's all finished, check this out. Look at what it's done. So you can see the timeline right here. It's created one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 different shorts out of this podcast episode and put them at different points where it senses it might be kind of a viral style clip. So now you can just go in here and decide which clip you want to work with and then start making some adjustments to that magic clip. So right off the bat, this is what our YouTube short is looking like with literally zero effort in this video so far, other than just pasting in a YouTube link. If you want your YouTube channel to keep growing, you need to keep growing. You are the incubator for your content. You know, one of the fears you might have when you start creating. Okay, it's looking pretty good. And I would say maybe I'd adjust some style adjustments or so, but you can do all of this really quickly with Submagic's built-in editor. For now, I'll go ahead and mute this clip as we begin to dial in our style. And there's all these different preset styles that you can choose from. So there's like this one here from Alex Ormosi kind of vibe. There's actually several from Alex, kind of interesting. There's this one from William, Mr. Beast. You know, there's all of these different styles that you can select. Oh, look at this one. It's a nice animated font style, kind of like a write-on effect as it adds more and more text. So there's all these ones you can choose from. I actually like this third one here from Alex. It's kind of a cool preset. And you can increase the size if you want it a little bit larger or the positioning if you wanted it exactly center or a little bit lower. So I like a little bit of a smaller text in about the lower third or so, not too low because we don't want it to interfere with the bottom description and text that will be on a YouTube short. And then you can also adjust your colors if you want. I actually like the yellow and green and red colors that it comes with here in the preset. So we'll work with that for now. So now as we navigate to this next tab, you'll see this is where you can adjust some of your captioning if anything was incorrect. As you can see, the AI captions detected that it did 99.88% accurately. As I went through, honestly, the captioning was really spot on. There was one spot here where it actually was correct because Sean mistakenly said the word where. I'll pull this clip up and you can then see. Then you will continue to grow and so will your YouTube channel. It, he says there, and so where your YouTube channel. He meant to say, and so will your YouTube channel, but it understood. Oh, look at this. So it even highlighted it orange. Let's click off of this. It even highlighted it orange. It said, it's a low confidence word like, something here feels a little bit off it could detect it and that's because he meant to say and so will your youtube channel so we'll make that adjustment and everything is fixed right there and honestly otherwise these captions were perfectly correct so at this point if i went to this b-roll tab i could add some additional b-roll which we'll show you in just a second but for now i like the simplicity of this specific clip it just feels like kind of a podcast long form talking style clip with some good animated captions that change some colors as well. So we're gonna keep this this way for this clip and hit export. And we wanna make sure too, we're selecting the 16 by nine. You could make this widescreen format if you prefer, but I like the vertical format, obviously for YouTube shorts. We'll export and you can do standard quality, 2K or 4K quality as well. Let's just do standard 1080p for the sake of simplicity and we'll hit export and it's gonna export for us in just a couple minutes. And now the video has exported and I can click download video right here and that video downloads to my downloads folder. If you want your YouTube channel to keep growing, you need to keep growing. You are the incubator for your 
content. You know, one of the fears you might have when you start creating content on YouTube is what if I run out of things to say? What if I eventually run out of topics to talk about? So literally that whole process start to finish right there. It took about 10 minutes. I just selected a clip from YouTube, copied it in to Submagic. It even selected the portion of the clip, multiple portions, like 10 plus clips that I could select. I chose the one that I wanted to work with and adjusted some captioning styles colors, all of that stuff. And that was only about eight or nine clicks before I had a fully complete YouTube short. Now for this next clip, I'm uploading a dedicated vertical video into Submagic so I can create a custom short directly within their software. So this is the clip right here. It's just a little YouTube short about an older Sony camera that I have, but the beginnings and the ends have a lot of dead space before I start talking. So I can just trim those off to make the short the exact length that I want it to be, and that should be good to go. We'll hit save on that, and then we'll dive into the captions menu to start dialing in our style again. So I'm gonna choose one of the themes that have emojis. So there's some presets here that do have emojis. I'll choose this Teo one. Let's see what this one looks like. My favorite camera. Nah, I don't like that one very much. Ooh, I like this one. It's kind of floating text. Ooh, those emojis are kind of sick. I like that a lot. Okay, so we're gonna go with this animated style for this YouTube Shorts. But what I wanna do differently here is show you how you can add some custom B-roll. And because there's times for this video that I'm talking about the camera and I wanna see visuals of that camera to reinforce my YouTube Short. So if I go to this B-roll tab, you can see that this script is kind of broken up into different portions of text. And depending on what B-roll I add to these different sections, it's gonna overlay that B-roll to that exact time frame of the video. So what we can do is hit this plus button right here to add some B-roll to the very first frame of the video. Now you can upload a video clip or a still image either way for your B-roll. And when you click this video upload right here, you can actually, if you choose their premium plan, this gives you access to story block stock footage. So you could type in like the word camera. And if you're doing like a camera video, you could grab a clip of somebody using a camera. But for this video, I'm going to upload custom B-roll that I shot of my Sony NEX 3N. So if I click this and navigate to the folder where, where I have those clips, I can grab maybe one of these clips. And yeah, maybe this intro shot right here where I have the camera and I'm holding it in my hand just like that. We'll use that as the opening clip. And it'll take just a, you know, a minute right here to upload that clip to my footage library. So now that clip has finished uploading and we can hit apply and we'll see that as we hit play, our B-roll has been added to the first frame of the video and it'll play during that first portion of text that we have selected. This might be my favorite camera that I've personally ever purchased because it was so cheap. This is the Sony NEX3N and I bought it in 2024 for only $69. What a cheap price point for such a good little camera. It shoots high quality. So maybe I can add some more B-roll right here. I'll make sure we add a B-roll clip, hit add go to my B-roll and we're gonna add one more B-roll clip. Maybe as I'm talking about the video specs, we can see like this shot right here of the camera on a desk and we see the sensor really nicely. So I'll hit open on that clip, let it upload for just a second here and then we'll add it to our timeline. I also wanna make sure we select the right frame to start the clip at. So we'll start it right there at that frame and hit apply and let's see what that looks like. It shoots high quality 1080p video at around 24 frames per second, as well as it takes really good stills. So this is a fun just walk around camera for you vloggers out there or people who like doing street photography. So highly recommend the Sony NEX 3N. All right, so that's pretty solid. So as you can see here, you could add B-roll clips at designated points throughout your video, and you can even adjust the timings if you prefer to stretch out that timing a little bit and change the words that are associated with the B-roll that you wanna insert. It's very easy to do, and you pretty much don't need to know anything about editing to still add high quality B-roll. This might be my favorite camera that I've personally ever purchased because it was so cheap. This is the Sony NEX3N and I bought it in 2024 for only $69. What a cheap price point for such a good little camera. It shoots high quality 1080p video at around 24 frames per second. And finally, I wanna show you how you can upload unedited A-roll from maybe past videos that you've created or future content that you create that's not fully edited yet. So this is like the talking head portion of your content delivery. And maybe you wanna upload that raw content to Submagic to quickly create shorts out of your unedited talking portion of your video. So that's exactly what I did here. I just cut out a portion of my A-roll using the QuickTime editor, because again, there's limitations on the file size and the duration that you can add into Submagic software. So I just cut out a portion of like three minutes of my A-roll that I knew would be 
decent for creating a short from. And you can see that I did this automatic captioning here and it has all this other stuff that I didn't really need. I just wanted a portion of this clip. So I went in using their built-in editor. So you can actually treat this as kind of an editor and a timeline editor to adjust different portions of your video. So if I zoom in on the timeline right here, you can see that I've chopped up one, two, three different portions and sort of combined them to create my short. And I'll play back this clip right here so you can see what it looks like as it skips over these deleted portions. And I was shocked at how well the A7 IV stacked up to the flagship A1 Mark II. You do so pretty cool, it just skips over the portion that I don't want to include in the video. And then of course you can do all of those other edits that we've done to our two previous shorts. You can add B-roll to this kind of short. You can also adjust your captioning if anything was incorrect. Again, this captioning feature is incredible. This is 99% accurate here for captioning, so that's really impressive. And it even can add some emojis, which I think is kind of cool. As we play this right here, you can see what it looks like. The video features of this camera are really, really good. I've actually and again, this is me doing no work. It's just doing a couple of clicks. I don't have to do any traditional editing that I would have to do if I was making a short inside of Adobe Premiere. I would have to manually do all of these captionings, adding emojis, changing up my layout, my format from widescreen to vertical. And this is all done for you when you use Submagic. Now in terms of using something like Adobe, all of their software from their creative cloud costs $60 a month, which is a pretty steep price point for all of that software. Now using Submagic, which does a lot of the work for you would be $29 for their pro plan per month or $12, which is pretty budget friendly for their starter plan. So if you do wanna give Submagic a try, you can make Make your first three shorts completely for free and then upgrade your plan if you decide this is a right fit for your content workflow. We've linked it down in the description below if you want to sign up. And if you want to get an inside look at our YouTube shorts and long form strategy this year, you can check out this video that Sean did right here. It's an amazing video. So we'll see you over there. Peace.